Good morning students and welcome to today's class. So in the last class we had started with a new chapter that is shapes. Correct. In the last class we show, saw what are plane figures or plane shapes. In today's class we will be learning what are 3D shapes or solid shapes as they are known. Alright. So first let us revise what we did in the last class then we will look into solid shapes. Alright. So we started with plane figures or plane shapes. What are plane shapes? Plane shapes or 2D shapes are nothing but they are plane figures or shapes which have two dimensions that is the length and the width. Okay, so we saw so many different shapes last time. We saw what is a triangle, we saw what's a pentagon, rectangle, circle, square, a hexagon, octagon and an oval. But among these shapes mainly we saw what's a triangle, what's a rectangle, what is a circle and what is a square. Correct? So let's see each of these shapes one by one. So first we saw what's a circle. So what is a circle? A circle is a round. Correct. A circle is round in shape and it has no sides and no corners. Okay. It has no sides and no corners. And then we saw various different examples for circles. So a circle we have example for a circle is a wheel then we have a moon is circular shape then sun is also circle in shape and then coin we saw which is circle in shape correct then uh, we saw next what's a triangle a triangle so a triangle is a shape which has three sides and three corners okay it has three sides and three corners so a triangle looks something like this So a triangle looks something like this. So now it has three sides. So this is one side, this is two and this is three. So these are the three sides and these are the three corners. Okay, these are the three corners. Alright, so a triangle has three sides and three corners. So we saw various examples of triangles also. Chips, then about traffic signs. Then we saw that uh, a watermelon when cut it can be triangular form then pizza these are all triangle shape examples then we saw what's a square what's a square a square has four sides it has four corners correct and all are of equal length so a square looks like this so there are four sides correct there are four sides so this is one two three and four so it has four sides and four corners so these are the corners one two three and this is four okay so it has four sides and four corners corners are what they are nothing but uh, it's a point where two sides meet okay it's a point where two sides meet now in a square all the sides are of the same length okay all the sides are of the same length now if in one side is two centimeters then all the four sides will be two centimeters only okay so this is a square then we saw examples of square a chessboard is an example for a square and a square frame is an example of a square then we saw the next shape which is a rectangle now a rectangle also has four sides like a square but it has it also has four corners so a rectangle has four sides and four corners but its opposite sides are equal in a square all the sides are equal but in a rectangle all the opposite sides are equal so here we have two long sides these two are the long sides oh, this is called the length of a rectangle they both are equal and these two are called the width or the short sides which will be equal because they are opposite of each other so this is a rectangle okay so an example for a rectangle is a blackboard then a door and so many other windows for example are rectangular in shape okay cupboards are normally rectangular in shape okay so these are the different shapes then uh, i just told you for 
as a fun fact two different shapes what were those pentagon so what's a pentagon a pentagon has five sides and five corners then we studied one more shape that is a hexagon it has six sides and six corners okay so these are the various examples of shapes so we studied so this was all about plane figures which we studied in the last class now in today's class we'll start with today's topic that was solid figures or solid shapes and uh, which are also known as 3d shapes okay so 3d shape is a solid figure or an object that has three dimensions length width and height so plane figures have two dimensions length and width but a 3d shape or a solid figure has three dimensions length width and height so these are various examples of 3d shapes so we have a cube you have a cuboid and then we have a sphere okay then we have a prism pyramid cone and cylinder so these are the different uh, examples of solid shapes so we'll see these shapes one by one so first of all see, we'll see what's a cube a cube has six faces it has eight vertices okay uh, so this is how a cube looks like so a rolling dice is a example for a cube ice is an ice cubes are an example of cube then the rubik's cube which is there that is also an example for a cube so what is the meaning of a face and a vertice and edges in a uh, solid figure well i'll show you that now okay okay so and this is how a cube looks like it kind of looks like a square but it is a solid figure now see when i'm rotating it you can see it has various sides right so how many faces does it have now when you see here now this is one face okay what you can see this one square is one face and then it has one more face here then three and four so one face on top one on the bottom okay one on the left one on the right and one front and one back like this okay so these are the different shapes so uh now what you're seeing is the front part of the cube that is this is the one face okay this is one face this entire thing that you can see here this entire part this is called a face of a cube so this is one face in the, in the this is a front face then when i move it like this when i turn it like this this is the right side face okay then this will be the left face so front right left that is three three faces then we have the top face which is four then the bottom face which is five and then we also have the back face now which is a back face this is the back face okay so six so a cube has six faces okay so a cube has six faces so one then two front then back then top bottom left and right so these are the six faces of a cube now coming on to edges so what are edges now these lines or sides what you can see these are called the edges of a cube or any solid figure so these are called the edges okay so these are all the edges so how many edges does a cube have a cube has 12 edges okay a cube has 12 edges now coming to a vertice now what is a vertice a vertice is nothing but where three edges meet or the corners of a solid figure so these are all the vertices of a solid figure okay so how many vertices does a cube have a cube has eight vertices okay so it has six faces eight vertices and 12 edges okay so this is a cube now let's see what is a cuboid so next we'll uh, see what is a cuboid okay so this is a cuboid it is rect it has rectangular faces like this so how many faces does it have so this is the front face then this is the top then this is the back face and this is the bottom face okay so it has four faces uh four rectangular faces in front back top and bottom 
then on the right and left it has square faces so its right and left face is a square face like this okay so this is how a cube looks like now here also it has six faces correct so two square faces and four rectangular faces so total it has six faces and edges so these are the edges okay so when you count all the edges of a cuboid you will have 12 edges so a cuboid also has 12 edges and vertices that are the corners it has eight vertices okay so this is a cuboid next we will see what is a sphere so this is a sphere so a sphere nothing but it looks like a uh, ball shape okay see so this is a sphere all right so this is a sphere so different examples of a sphere are earth then a ball okay and then all the planets these are all sphere in shape okay now a sphere as you see does not have any edge it doesn't have any edge it doesn't have any vertices okay and it doesn't have any face it is a round in shape or circular in shape so this is what is a sphere all right so next we'll see what is a cylinder this is how a cylinder looks okay so see now if i rotate it see it uh, the top face and the bottom face will be circle in shape okay the top face and the bottom face will be circle and the rest of the side it is a complete curved surface okay so it will be circular like this so it looks something like this okay so this is how a cylinder looks like then next one the last shape we'll study is a cone so uh, what do you remember when you see a cone what are the different examples of a cone different examples of a cone are ice cream cones or birthday caps okay or traffic cones now this is how a cone looks like it has one circular face at the bottom okay one circular face in the bottom and rest is a curved surface like this so this is if i rotate it it will look like this okay so this is a cone this is how a cone looks like in a 3d uh, plane okay so these are the different 3d shapes or solid shapes all right so let's see the questions that are there in your textbook now so before we see questions just let's go through this so we saw the different examples of cube dice ice cubes rubik's cube then cuboid so a cuboid matchbox is an example aquarium fish aquarium then compass box these are all examples of cuboid then sphere a sphere planets are an example for a sphere then balls then oranges these are all sphere shapes then pyramid we didn't see pyramid there now because you are not having pyramid in your books but a pyramid looks like this so pyramid example is the pyramids of egypt then a tent looks like a pyramid okay so a cone ice cream cones are an example then birthday caps then traffic cones okay then cylinder uh batteries or cells that are there those are examples of cylinder then uh cold drink tin cans okay then your cylinder gas gas cylinders there are all examples of cylinders okay so these are all the solid solid shapes now let's move on to your textbook all right so as you see here solid shapes a cuboid has six faces eight corners and 12 edges i showed you right a cube also has six faces eight corners and 12 edges all the edges in a cube are of the same length so all the cube edges of a cube are of the same length then a sphere has only one face it has no corners and edges okay then a cylinder has three faces no corners and two edges then a cone has two faces one vertex and one edge a cone uh, actually this is wrong uh, yeah a cone has two faces one vertex and one edge okay now let's see a few questions now draw a line to match the shapes with their names okay so a 
uh, dice we saw a dice right what is an, it an example for it is an example for a cube so we'll match it with cube so spelling for cube is c-u-b-e cube now here it is a flute what is an example for a flute flute is an example for a cylinder so cylinder is s-y-l-i-n-d-e-r this is a box what shape is this box in it looks like a cuboid so cuboid is here cuboid spelling is c-u-b-o-i-d cuboid then a birthday cap we saw a birthday cap is an example for a cone so a cone is over here c-o-n-e cone then this is a ball and a ball is an example for a sphere okay so s-p-h-e-r-e sphere so these are the different shapes Alright, so now identify the shapes and write the names. So now we have learned the shapes. What I want you to do is I want you all to write the names of this for the for your homework. Okay, so you will see which shapes are these and write it for homework. Alright, so we will do higher order thinking skills now. In higher order thinking skills, here yeah, they have given you some examples. They are asking who am I? I am a plain shape with no corners what is a plain shape with no corners it is a circle so we'll write circle here okay then i'm a solid shape with 12 equal edges which solid shape has 12 equal edges it is cube so we'll write cube then i'm a shape solid shape with one corner which sol solid shape has one corner it is a cone okay so we'll write cone So, third one is a cone. So, C-O-N-E, cone. Okay. Then next, I am a plain shape with three corners. Which shape has three corners? Plain shape. So, it is a triangle. Okay. So, this is a triangle. Okay. So, these are the answers for the questions. Question 2 here do it for homework okay so you have given these examples you know what are the names if you want spelling spellings are there here in match the following also okay so complete that for your homework now let's revise by solving a few questions okay we'll do the revision of the whole chapter so what we did today we once again saw what are plain shapes then we did what are solid shapes correct so let's solve a few questions again as a part of revision so here they have to count the number of shapes of each type and fill in the boxes. So how many circles are there here? There are two circles. So we'll write two in this box. How many triangles are there? So let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven triangles. So we'll write seven. Then how many squares are there? We have one, two, three, four squares. So we'll write four. okay so four squares sorry there are eight triangles so we'll make that eight and then rectangles how many rectangles are there we have one two three rectangles so we'll write three here okay so that's right and one more now here match the shapes in a row in row a with the correct names in row b now what is the shape the shape is a cube so we'll match it with cube like this then this is a flute flute is an example for a cylinder so we'll match it with cylinder then box this box is an example for a cuboid so cuboid then sphere the uh, it is an example for a sphere so we'll write sphere like this then we have a cone correct so this is a cone we'll match it with cone like this okay so this was basically what is plane shapes and uh, solid shapes okay in the next class we'll start with the next chapter all right students thank you i'll see you all in the next class again thank you